What's going on guys? Doing a quick video on a uh, block test. Um, this is how you check for blown head gaskets, cracked blocks, cracked heads, um, things of that nature. And when it comes to just about any Cadillac, this is something you really want to do. Um, now in most cases when it comes to the uh, North Star, the 4.6 liter uh, VIN Y and VIN 9 engines, um, I'm showing you this real quick. I want you to see that the engine is up to operating temperature. And I've had to uh, get rid of some of the coolant to do this test. I know this is going to be a little loud and I apologize. Um, I'm in the process of doing a tune-up, changing the PCB valve, flushing the coolant, um, replacing it with the uh, factory GM coolant that's uh, Dex Cool approved. So before I go and put too much work into it, I want to verify that I don't have a blown head gasket, which is pretty common on these cars. Um, typically, however, these cars will lose their head gaskets between 80,000 miles and 100, maybe 110,000 miles. With 147,000 miles on it, this car is, it should be pretty safe um, from having to worry about it. But again, before I go putting too much money into it, I want to verify that I'm not putting money into a car that's got a leaking head gasket or a pulled head bolts, which is usually the case with the North Star. So this is going to be a little loud. Um, got a bottle of test fluid right here from AutoZone. I know it's shaky. I'm sorry, guys. This checks for uh, combustion gases in the cooling system. And then you've got this tool right here. Um, that was about $6 or $9 for the fluid. And you've got this tool right here. And to rent this is about $25. It's got a bulb right here. I just changed the PCB valve. The old one's sitting right there. That was part of my tune-up. I've got my new spark plugs, uh, of course, AC Delco 41-950, the double platinum original equipment plugs. Um, I'm going to find a place to sit this down, guys, and I guess you can uh, kind of watch as I do this test. Sorry guys, I'm trying. Should give you a pretty good view. Let's do a test shot here. Alright, we're good to go. So uh, first step is to fill to this yellow line right here. And this fluid comes out blue. However, if it detects uh, combustion gases in the cooling system, it will change from blue to a yellow and then to a, well really it should be a yellow. Um, You gotta push this down uh, real good in there. Make sure it's nice and tight. See it's freestanding. Hold it down. And it says to do it for about two minutes. Squeeze the ball. And you look for it to change colors. Back this light off here a little bit.
says to do it for approximately two minutes. So we'll go ahead and do it for the full two minutes. See if we can get anything out of it here. And also I want to point out that um, on the North Stars, these engines will run up to about 222 degrees before the cooling fans kick on. Now that's fine as long as the cooling system is pressurized. But in this case, the system is not pressurized. Therefore, um, even antifreeze will start boiling when it's not under pressure. Um, I've noticed on this car, it'll start spewing coolant out of it right around the 200 to 205 degree mark. So, you want to turn on, on a North Star anyway, I don't know about other cars, but definitely on a North Star, you want to turn on your air conditioning to keep those cooling fans running, and that will allow your engine operating temperature to remain between 196 degrees and about um, 203, 205 degrees, which is just under where it needs to be for uh, it not to boil over on you. And we're getting to where the bulb isn't wanting to uh, suck so good anymore. see the color is still blue it's not changing to a yellow um, I don't know if this helps any but here's the original color of course it's uh, going to be slightly darker because it's denser this is really full and the bottle's not clear for quite a while now and we're at about 10 minutes so if it was going to do something would have done it by now there you go guys hopefully it focuses in you can see it's still a very pretty blue if you look at this, this will be a little lighter, guys. That's normal because this bottle is cloudy and it's a lot thicker. Um, let's do it a couple more times here.
So number one, I know that as I am going to uh, be spending a few hundred dollars on the spark plugs, plug wires, um, I just got the oil change with synthetic today. Um, tires have been rotated and balanced today. I'm going to go get an alignment. I want to know before I go dumping this kind of money to this car that I'm not putting, you know, good money after bad. Uh, there's no sense of putting work into a car like this if, uh, if it's got the notorious head gasket issue. And later on down the road, if I have to sell it or if I decide to sell it, um, show you again, we're still up at operating temperature, 206 degrees. Go ahead and shut her down. Um, now if I need to sell it or if I have to sell it, then I can vouch, well, you know, I have not vouched, but I have proof that uh, the head gasket is good. I ran the kit on it and we came out fine. So now I'm gonna get to changing these spark plugs and plug wires. In fact, I've got my professional grades right here. These are the ones that uh, you're supposed to put in them. They are part number 41-950. Here we go. And honestly, this is the only spark plug you should put in your Cadillac with a North Star. So I'm going to get that started, guys. And as usual, thanks for watching.